Uh, Josie, you make a really beautiful prom queen. Welcome to Miss Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the times at when people, either real or fictional, wore costumes we've seen before. We're referring to ensembles that appear identical, even if the exact same garments weren't necessarily used. Huge thank you to Recycled Movie Costumes, a source that was integral in compiling much of this list. Don't just stand there, let's get to it. Strike the pose, there's nothing to it. Number 10, The Red Coat, Elizabeth and Camelot. There's something about the British in red coats. Are you all in agreement? I say there's never been a better time or occasion. In the 1998 period drama Elizabeth, Kate Blanchett starred as Queen Elizabeth I. Her wardrobe was as ostentatious as everything else in the film, but one item, a gorgeous red coat, has had a life after the Tudor era. Well, technically, it was about a thousand years or so before the Tudor era. I told you they'd come. Your influence can only grow from this. In Star's short-lived series Camelot, Eva Green seemingly wore the same piece as antagonist Morgan Pendragon. But this robe appears to have been around the block many times. It was also used on The Tudors, worn by Natalie Dormer, who played Elizabeth I's mother, Anne Boleyn. Your Majesty. <laughs> you look well. Number 9. The Pink Dress Marie Antoinette and A Royal Affair. Paintings of Marie Antoinette's sumptuous fashions have inspired countless artists. This is perhaps never more true than in Sofia Coppola's underrated 2006 biopic based on Antoinette's life. Letting everyone down would be my greatest unhappiness. I am pleased Madame is taking this seriously. Kirsten Dunst stuns in an array of ensembles, namely a sugary sweet peach-coloured pastel garment by Oscar-winning designer Milena Cananero. The pink dress is so good, it seemingly found new life. Remember, you represent the future and nothing is certain about your place there. The acclaimed fashion notably appears to have made its way onto a Royal Affairs film set a few years later. There, it was worn by Alicia Vikander, who played Queen of Denmark, Caroline Matilda of Great Britain, in the historical drama. Your mother has asked that you take this matter very seriously and do everything in your power to inspire. Number eight, runaway bridal gown. Friends and Edgar Allan Poe's murder mystery dinner party. I just had to get out of there and I started wondering why am I doing this and who am I doing this for? When we first see the rich and spoiled Rachel Green, she's running into Central Perk in an ornate, embroidered wedding dress. She has just realized her impending marriage is a mistake and has run from the altar. All of my life, everyone has always told me, you're a shoe. You're a shoe, you're a shoe, you're a shoe. And then today I just stopped and I said, what if I don't want to be a shoe? What if I want to be a, a purse, you know, or, 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 or a hat? <laughs> Thus it begins a beautiful adventure and journey of self-discovery. But perceptive Friends fans would have gotten deja vu years later if they happened upon the 2016 web series Edgar Allan Poe's Murder Mystery Dinner Party. After roughly 22 years, the dress, sans veil, and captured in more sinister lighting, seemingly appears on ghost protagonist Lenore. That's me! She died on the very same railroad, named after her by her father. Number 7. Peggy's Easter Dress Mad Men and The Help. Happy Easter, Peggy. Hello, Father. I read your sermon. I liked it. Mad Men had a keen eye for period details. From its inspired professional wear to the mod fashion of the 60s, the costuming is always the second star of the show. This dress, with its memorable checkered print, can notably be seen on Elizabeth Moss, whose character wears it for Easter Sunday in the show's second season. But the concrete jungle of New York isn't the only place the garment appears to have been used. Well, if it isn't Long Haul Skeeter, <laughs> we didn't ever think you'd leave all men. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, you can spot it at a Mississippi gathering in The Help. There it appears, albeit in different lighting, on Anna Camp's Southern Society Lady. <laughs> to Skeeter and her job. <laughs> Last stop till marriage. Number six, an unsinkable coat. Titanic and Tuck Everlasting. Mr. Andrews, I saw the iceberg and I see it in your eyes. Please tell me the truth. 
The tragedy of Titanic is the lives lost. One of the ways the film made us feel the scale of the tragedy was through the costuming. James Cameron's 1997 disaster epic cost about $200 million to make, and the clothes surely made up a solid portion of that. Shall we go dress, Mother? <laughs> See you at dinner, Jack. We might never know where most of Kate Winslet's wardrobe ended up, but we do think we've seen one piece, or one copy of it at least, since. The coat she wears as she descends into the flooding corridors of the lower decks appeared to show up again on Alexis Bledel in 2002's Tuck Everlasting, thankfully under less dire circumstances. Winifred! Number 5. Reusable Armour, Season of the Witch and Vikings A vow must be fulfilled, else it is no vow at all. Even at the cost of your life. Even then. Just because you're doing a period piece doesn't mean you've got to break the bank. The acclaimed medieval series Vikings has apparently seen its fair share of recycled costumes. Michael Fassbender's Macbeth armour would reappear on the series, worn by actor Alexander Ludwig. In the name of my father! Whether you're fighting demons or an army of Saxons, a medieval warrior is in need of some good armour. Indeed, King Harold Finehair actor Peter Frangin donned what looks like the same armour Nicolas Cage sported in Season of the Witch for battle scenes on the historical drama. I will kill you. You understand that? I will kill you. Number 4. Strutting in Stripes Casino and The Nanny. How are you doing tonight? Good. How are you? It takes a real diva to pull off a Bob Mackie look. Cher, Diana Ross, and Tina Turner could attest. Fran Drescher clearly had the flair to pull it off. You told me to get dressed up and get over here! <gasps> that was the night? Out. The audience howled as she slinked down the stairs in it on The Nanny. But if you could have sworn you'd seen it somewhere before, you probably did. A year or so before it appeared on The Nanny, Sharon Stone strutted across a Las Vegas casino in this glittery and graphic striped Mackie number in 1995's Casino. Great, now we can't stop thinking about Fran Drescher in a Martin Scorsese movie. What a missed opportunity. But uh, she can't stay long because Marvin Hamlish is waiting in the limo. Number three, coat of many colors. Waiting for the light and hairspray. You know what I'd do if I ran this place? I would have gambling in the back room. If you were challenged to name two actresses you don't think could pull off the same wardrobe, Shirley MacLaine and Queen Latifah would probably be a safe bet. Well, think again. McLean wore this colourful coat when she played the quirky Aunt Zena in a 1990 comedy called Waiting for the Light. I mean, what am I supposed to do? Spike the coffee? Wear scoop neck dresses? <laughs> Somehow I don't think Uncle Henry had to do that. The movie appears to have been largely forgotten, which is probably why the garment's reappearance some 17 years later didn't garner much excitement. But the coat seemingly did resurface on Motormouth Maybell in the 2007 musical adaptation of Hairspray. Talk about a statement piece. Well, love is a gift. A lot of people don't remember that. Number two, the Never Been Kissed dress. Never Been Kissed and Love Story music video. It's a love story, baby. Just say, hey, I know that dress. Who are you guys? Wait, wait, wait. Don't tell me you're medieval Barbie. Get over it. We're Rosalind and Orlando. Shakespeare? Although it's not even the most iconic prom dress Josie rocks in Never Been Kissed, it's just as distinctive. Even when you see it for just a split second in the margins of the screen, it makes an impact. Josie, you rock my world. You're like the most amazing girl that I've ever dated. Indeed, in Taylor Swift's music video for Love Story, an extra in the ballroom is seemingly wearing the gown Drew Barrymore's character dons in the 1999 flick's climax. This is as blink and you miss it as it gets, but those dresses definitely look identical. To the rom-com loving, eagle-eyed Swifties who probably spotted this one, we thank you. So, surprise. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Madonna's Vogue Gown Dangerous Liaisons and 7th MTV Video Music Awards Strike the pose. 
The stylized performance of Vogue at the 1990 MTV Video Music Awards still stands as one of Queen Madge's legendary moments. It was a fitting tribute to the aspirational opulence of the ballroom culture that inspired the song. But if you're a big fan of costume dramas, you may have recognized this beautiful, frilly piece inspired by 18th century French fashion. While Madonna's look was commonly compared to clothing worn by Marie Antoinette, it's actually reportedly one of the gowns worn by Glenn Close in 1988's Dangerous Liaisons. Is that so? Oh, yes. I'm also inclined to see this as one of my greatest triumphs. Talk about opulence. The James Atchison designed piece wasn't the only one to find new life in an unexpected form. One of Michelle Pfeiffer's dresses from the film ended up in the 1993 Halloween classic Hocus Pocus. By the way, Danny, I love your costume. Thank you. I really like yours too. Of course. I couldn't wear anything like that because I don't have any, what do you call them, Max? Yabos? <laughs> have you ever noticed a costume being reused in another movie or TV show? Tell us about it in the comments. Which sleep do you like with freckles or without? Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.